A Dearborn High School student found himself in an unexpected situation. He says he was devastated when he was denied the opportunity to walk at his graduation because he missed a rehearsal. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has how the Dearborn community is rallying behind him in a big way. Take a look. I myself in the cab, they got on, walking down the stage with my friends looking, you know, my family clapping. It's a moment Hatem Jalan had envisioned for six years since immigrating to Dearborn from Yemen. It was supposed to be a proud moment. But despite a 3.7 GPA, this Edsel Ford grad never saw that happen because he slept through the ceremony's rehearsal, which the principal said was grounds to deny him his chance to walk. I was heartbroken and you know, I was devastated. Hatem had been working late the night before, but he needed the financial support for family members back in Yemen. He is special and that this wasn't his fault and he's not a bad kid. He deserved to be celebrated. So Samra Lukman, a Dearborn community member who caught wind of the story, made it her mission to do just that, helping to organize a mock ceremony. Hatem Jilan. It was more than what we expected. It was honestly amazing turnout. Exceeding everyone's expectations, 150 people showed up on Monday evening, many of them strangers, as businesses called to ask what they could donate. And this location here was chosen for a reason. If you take a look right over there, you'll see it's just steps away from Edsel Ford High School itself, where a school board meeting was underway. The celebration then turning into an act of protest. I'm here on behalf of Hatem Jalan. I'm here to have him walk up in front of everybody and graduate in front of Dearborn Public Schools, something that you guys should have allowed him to do. You can't take away a 12 years of hard work in one sentence in one day for a simple mistake. We reached out to the school district, who, while standing by the principal's decision, said in part, we reflected on what occurred and will evaluate all of our high school's procedures and practices to see if there may be room to make changes in the future. We did all this so that doesn't happen to nobody else. Hatem is grateful for the we in all of this, the community that stood behind him. People coming to say you are celebrated. So that he could stand tall. How did it make you feel sitting there with your community around you, clapping for you. It was mind-blowing for me, you know, to see the support from each and every corner. It was incredible. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. That was kind of cool. They turned lemons into lemonade, That's right? That's quite a peaceful protest. Yes, yeah. indeed. All right.